In 2013, new electrocardiographic markers of the diastolic dysfunction were discovered. In this video, we will speak about them. It's known that the left ventricular diastolic function is assessed with the help of echocardiography. But there are ECG markers of the diastolic dysfunction that well correlate with the echocardiographic data. The tent P is measured from the end of T wave to the beginning of P wave. Normally, the tent P should exceed 311 milliseconds. Another ECG marker of the left ventricular diastolic dysfunction is the tent Q. It's measured from the end of the T wave to the beginning of the QRS complex. Normal tent Q is more than 455 milliseconds. Actually, both of these intervals reflect the electrical and mechanical diastole of the ventricle, and they well correlate with heart rate. First of all, TP interval changes upon the heart rate, and the diastolic function of the left ventricle improves upon the lower heart rate. In this case, there is time for the left ventricle to be more filled with blood in the diastole. Also, tent P may be calculated as RR interval minus PQ interval minus QT interval, and the tent Q may be calculated as RR interval minus QT interval. To increase the sensitivity and the specificity of these ECG intervals, a novel electrocardiographic index was discovered. Tent P divided by PQ interval times H in brackets. The normal value is 0.0333 and more. This index demonstrated high diagnostic accuracy of the diagnosis of the diastolic dysfunction. Its sensitivity is 82% and the specificity is 93%. This simple index may help a doctor to suspect the left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe and hit the like button.